Hi, this is Teresa Jackson. I want to give you some quick tips for how to navigate around your image. Being able to move around and get in and out on an area quickly will save you a lot of time over the long haul. I'm going to be doing the keyboard shortcuts with my left hand and holding a stylus for my Wacom tablet in my right hand. You can follow these same procedures with the mouse. I don't recommend driving Photoshop with a trackpad. There might be somebody out there who's an expert at getting around their image with a trackpad, but I find it extremely limiting. Okay, tip number one is how to zoom in on your image without actually using the zoom tool, which is the last one in the toolbar here. I'm currently active on the move tool. If I clicked and dragged right now, it would actually move the image on the canvas. I don't want to move the image on the canvas. I want to zoom in on the canvas. So I'm going to use the command and spacebar together on the keyboard and that gives me a zoom tool, a temporary zoom tool. If I take my fingers off the keyboard, it goes back to the move tool. So command and spacebar for a Mac, control and spacebar for a PC. Now I'm going to just do what's called a, a scrubby zoom. I'm going to click and drag to the right, which zooms in, and drag to the left, which zooms out. So I can very, very quickly get in, in and out on this image. Let's zoom all the way in on the face of my puppy here. Now that we're in really tight on the puppy, I want to slide the image over on my window so that I can see what's to the left of him. So this is tip number two. I took my hand off of the space bar or off of the keyboard so now I'm back to the move, move tool. I don't want to click and move now because that would actually move the image. If we look over here on the layers panel you can see that the image is shifted off of that canvas a little bit. So I'm going to do a command Z. It's hard to see when you're zoomed in whether you're actually moving the image on the canvas or the view of the image on the screen. To move the view of the image, we want to use the hand tool. The hand tool is just above the zoom tool on the toolbar, but instead of going to the hand tool, we're going to do that with a keyboard shortcut, which is the space bar. That's the same on a PC and a Mac. So with the space bar depressed, I temporarily have a hand tool, and now I can scroll around on this image. This is the same thing as using these scroll bars on the side, but I prefer this hand tool and I can move to any area that I want just clicking and dragging it around on the screen. Okay, tip number three is how to uh, zoom back out so the whole image fits on the screen and that is a command zero. And that's a keyboard shortcut that you're going to want to remember because it works in all of the Adobe applications. If your zoom tool isn't working the same as mine with the scrubby zoom, if you get a marquee zoom like this instead of a scrubby, switch to the zoom tool temporarily and then go to your options bar up here and make sure where it says scrubby zoom is selected. So I'm going to turn that back on. And then I'm going to switch back to my move tool and now I'm going to go into the zoom tool using my keyboard shortcut command and spacebar and now my scrubby zoom works again. Commit these keyboard shortcuts to memory now and get in the habit of using them every time you zoom or pan around your image. These shortcuts will greatly speed up your Photoshop workflow.